So we're at a very special part of the program where we want to recognize the recipients of two special awards, uh, the Stan Huff Education Award and the Loink Award for Distinguished Contributions. The Stan Huff Education Award honors one of Loink's pioneers and steadfast champions, Dr. Stan Huff, without Dr. Huff's continuous support and commitment, Loink would not have achieved the accomplishments nor have the widespread recognition that we enjoy today. The award is granted to a full-time student and includes uh, complimentary attendance to this conference. Our goal is to instill um, our strong belief of developing Loink in the context of learning and to cultivate interoperability and interoperation, not only among standards, but also among users of those standards. So we are very pleased to bestow the Stan Huff Education Award on Ching Yu Wang. Ching Yu is a PhD student at the University of Utah College of Nursing and is working on a project to develop a fire-based application for use in emergency departments to screen for social determinants of health that are coded in LOINC. We welcome you, Ching Yu, to the conference and wish you the very best with your project. And um, now I'll turn the floor over to Dr. David Biorto to give the LOINC Award for Distinguished Contribution. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Marjorie. Um, I am going to be presenting the uh, Link Award for Distinguished Contributions. Um, this award uh, basically recognizes uh, exceptional and enduring actions. Um, it, uh, it looks at accomplishments that have advanced and promoted LOINC and its use to improve the health of people. Um, a member of the LOINC community can be eligible for this award based on their thought leadership, um, their success in implementation, uh, their promotion of awareness and adoption of LOINC education or fostering cooperation and collaboration. Um, you know, there are so many individuals who, who have worked tirelessly at various of these tasks, you know, supporting and nurturing LOINC, educating others in the use of LOINC, helping to improve LOINC, and, and they really all deserve credit. But it's very rare to find someone who's done all of these things uh, consistently over as long a period of time um, as our recipient of the 2021 Distinguished LOINC Award. And with that, um, if you could please flip to the next slide. Um, I, I would, I would it gives me great pleasure to be able to offer the 2020 LOINC Award for Distinguished Contributions to Ricky Merrick. On the right, um, you can see her quote from her LinkedIn page, which uh, I think explains a lot about her commitment. My goal is to expand my knowledge and use my diverse talents to work with people on improving our community. Um, you know, I hope I, I did this right, but I placed this quote on top of an image, uh, which is a photo from Ricky's horse ranch in California. Um, and, you know, being in, the, in that business, know, knowing people in that business and having family who are horse people, I know the commitment that that in itself involves and how it feeds into other aspects of your life. Ricky is currently the lead specialist in informatics and terminology at the Association of Public Health Laboratories, EPHL. Uh, Ricky's exhibited leadership patient progress and guidance in health information technology for over 15 years. She's been a vocabulary and implementation specialist. Uh, she's done loads of LOINC and SNOMED mapping, as well as provided guidance in the use of standards for companies, health systems, and government agencies. Um, she's worked on developing reporting rules, worked with HL7. Um, she was instrumental in the success of the Public Health Laboratory Interoperability Project due to her guidance in the use of LOINC, um, which resulted in, just as an example, influenza reporting from near, nearly every state in the union via HL7. Um, she's helped LOINC 
itself internally with modeling and creating new codes, especially in the micro area, in a way that would make them most useful in a practical way. Um, Ricky's been described as having the heart of a teacher, especially with respect to LOINC. She's, and she's become the go-to resource for LOINC and other terminology standards for the CDC and other federal, federal agencies such as the FDA. I've witnessed Ricky's commitment to standards and terminology in our weekly uh, meetings with the LIVID group where we're uh, encoding all the new EUAs for SARS-CoV-2 testing. Um, you know, I, I can't say enough uh, about Ricky's accomplishments and contributions to LOINC. So at this point, I could just say congratulations, Ricky, and it's more than uh, well-deserved um, to be receiving this award. Um, you know, I don't know if Ricky is, I know she had other commitments earlier this morning and she was gonna try to make it and I, we're running a little ahead of schedule, so I don't know if she's here yet. But if Ricky is here, I'd like to offer her to say a few words. I, I am on, so th thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm really humbled by being in this group of award recipients. There are some, several others that have gotten it before, and um, I'm, I'm uh, thankful to be there. I am grateful to get to work with smart and resourceful and passionate people um, who love sharing their thoughts and knowledge and uh, making us all a team and making every day different and exciting. And I'm fortunate to call a lot of you my friends, um, which makes getting up early in the morning a lot easier. And I'm looking forward to many more adventures. So thank you very much. Ricky, this is Marjorie Rollins and uh, we appreciate all of the work that you've done for like to reiterate what David said. So thank you very much.